One of the most viewed videos on my channel has also been one of my most controversial, my tags as folders video. I suggested using tags as folders because folders in Obsidian have always caused me serious cognitive friction. Whenever I have a strict folder structure, I find myself spending an excessive amount of time stressing about where to put new notes that could fit into more than one folder. That's why I tried the plugin Tag Folder. It displays tags in a folder-like structure, and I loved the idea of folders being automatically created and deleted based on the tags I assigned to my notes. But I quickly ran into some issues. First, the plugin itself wasn't very polished. The settings were confusing, and it was difficult to maintain. It was simply too flaky for long-term stability. Many of you rightly pointed out in the comments that tags are meant for a much looser, non-hierarchical structure. Trying to force them into a folder role destroyed their usual purpose, which is for more general categorization. Ultimately, I had to agree with all of you, and I abandoned the plugin. As I've used Obsidian over the years, I started to recognize specific entities that naturally emerged in my vault. I would create notes with repeated note types like books, projects, YouTube videos, and newsletters. It occurred to me as I made these notes at the root of my vault that it would be much easier to manage them if they lived in their own dedicated folders. With this realization and the release of the fantastic Basis plugin, a new organization system came into focus. It's a simple system that relies entirely on core Obsidian features, no community plugins needed. Let me show you how it works. I create a template for each entity with the specific properties that entity requires. Each entity gets a type with an icon for quick visual identification. Some entities share properties like status. I try to keep the possible values of these shared properties consistent across entity types, so I don't have to remember a bunch of different values per entity. Every template has a tags property where I can create connections across the different entity types. Tags is now performing its proper function inside my vault. I've created a folder for each entity, the name of which contains the same emoji that identifies the type in the template. When starting new notes, I create them in whichever folder they belong in, then insert the corresponding template. Each folder contains very specific notes, so there's no question about what goes in each folder. Books go in books, YouTube videos go in YouTube, and so on. The resource type is for anything that doesn't fit into one of the specific entity types. Having this sort of catch-all folder frees me from the analysis paralysis I used to feel. Most things do fit into one of my defined entities because those are the notes I've found I create the most. The Basis plugin has had a huge impact on me finally figuring out how to use folders in my vault. I now have a base inside each folder that acts as the dashboard for that entire entity type. This gives me a curated overview of everything in that folder. I'm able to set up different views depending on the needs of that particular entity type. For projects and YouTube videos, I can organize notes by status. And for resources, I can get a bird's eye view of all the different building blocks that I have for videos and other content. I can whip up a new view whenever I need one and can get different combinations of filtered lists. The Files tab can get kind of busy when you've got a lot of notes in your vault and you can't rearrange your folders without renaming them. Instead of relying on the Files tab for navigating my entities, I use Obsidian's bookmark feature to build my own custom menu. I bookmark the base note for each entity and arrange them in order from most used to least used, or whichever way makes sense for me in any given time. I can always rearrange them however I like, so I'm not stuck with one way of organizing them. I also put the bookmarks into groups which I can collapse if I'm not using them at the moment, keeping my menu clean and only showing what I need. This new structure is simple, stable, and has finally eliminated a lot of the cognitive friction I used to feel with folders. The key is having specific types of notes that go in each folder, so there's no question about where things go. How are you using folders and tags in your vault? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning how to use the Basis plugin to organize your own vault, you can check out my Basis plugin playlist next.